Did you know there are over a dozen types of democracy? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to Illustrate to Educate. In this video, we'll take a very brief look at 12 different types of democracy. First, what is democracy? Democracy is a system of government in which the power to make decisions and influence policies is vested in the hands of the people. It's a form of government that emphasizes the participation of citizens in the decision-making process and aims to protect their rights and interests. There are several different types of democracy, each with its own characteristics and variations. Let's take a brief look at each type. First, there's direct democracy. In a direct democracy, citizens have a direct role in making decisions. They participate in policy making, often through referendums or town hall meetings. This system is most practical in small communities or on specific issues. Next is representative democracy or indirect democracy. In this type of democracy, citizens elect representatives to make decisions on their behalf. These representatives create laws and policies and they are held accountable through periodic elections. Representative democracies are more common in larger, complex societies. Then there's parliamentary democracy. In parliamentary democracy, the executive branch derives its legitimacy from and is accountable to the legislature or parliament. The head of state and head of government are often separate roles, with the latter typically being the leader of the majority party in parliament. Fourth is presidential democracy. In a presidential democracy, the executive branch is separate from the legislative branch. The president is the head of state and government, elected separately from the legislature. The United States is a notable example of a presidential democracy. Then there's federal democracy. In a federal democracy, power is divided between a central government and regional or state governments. Both levels of government have their own set of powers and responsibilities. Federal democracies are often used in large countries to accommodate regional diversity. And after that is social democracy. Social democracy combines democratic governance with a commitment to social and economic policies that promote equality and social welfare. It typically involves a mixed market economy with strong social safety nets. Seventh is liberal democracy. Liberal democracies are characterized by not only majority rule and the protection of individual rights, but also the rule of law, an independent judiciary, and a free press. They aim to balance majority will with the protection of minority rights. Then there's participatory democracy. This form emphasizes the active participation of citizens in decision-making processes beyond just voting. It often involves community-based initiatives, citizen assemblies, and deliberative forums. After that is consensus democracy. In consensus democracies, decision-making aims to achieve broad agreement and compromise among various political actors and interest groups. This approach is common in countries with diverse populations. Number 10 is a liberal democracy. In a liberal democracies, there is a facade of democratic elections, but in practice, civil liberties, freedom of press, and the rule of law may be undermined or restricted. Next, there's electronic democracy or e-democracy, and this involves the use of digital technology, such as the internet and electronic voting systems, to enhance citizen participation and decision-making processes. Lastly, economic democracy refers to a system in which economic decisions and resources are distributed more equally among members of a society. It aims to give individuals and communities a greater say in how economic activities are organized and how wealth is distributed. This can be achieved through various means such as workplace cooperatives, participatory budgeting, and policies that promote income equality. It's important to keep in mind that the implementation and effectiveness of these democracy types can vary widely from one country to another. Each type has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of a democratic system often depends on historical, cultural, and political factors. Democracy continues to evolve, and different countries may adopt hybrid systems or adapt their democratic institutions to better suit their needs. Did you enjoy this video explaining 12 types of democracy? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.